baseball from the Lone Star State. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Houston Astros. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country, and a lot of times that's done through sport. But for me as a black player, when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure. Baseball's hard enough just to play, but then everything sort of on the field, off the field, and how he persevered through that's so inspiring. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And towing the slab, J.P. France. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Atlanta, the right fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. The pitch. Close, but called the ball. 1-0. and oh. Wow, boo. First pitch of the night, and looks like the strike zone's a little small. And that's in there at the knees. Popped up. Altuve in position. And it's caught for the out. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. Of course, one of the best players in the game today, Matt Olson. Simply put, Boog, I mean, one of the elite players in the game, arguably the best player in the game, just an absolute unbelievable talent. Always so much fun to watch him go out there and do his thing, sit back and enjoy the show, and hopefully he's able to do something special in this one. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. Back there. And that one hops the wall. Dubon with a quick throw back in. Runner holds it second, so another base hit could get us the first run of the game. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Man at second with one away. And next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. And that one is inside ball one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Albies leads off second with one gone in the inning. Stays alive. Man at second. Ball back inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. Got him looking. And there's two away. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. And that one fouled off. Just That's missed. One and one. The pitch. 
Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. Hits the top of the wall. And they'll score first. It's one zip. And that's a double. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Here's Marcelo Zuna. And a swing and a miss. All in one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Good eye right there. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Dubon has this one sized up. And that is that. The Braves add one on the RBI double. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at Minute Maid Park. And on the mound today, number 42. There's always a bit of a learning curve for rookie pitchers. You've got to get familiar with these big league hitters, and it's more of a chess match. But I think this kid's got good stuff and the potential to be great. Bottom of the first. We'll say Altuve up to hit here. He's hitting for that top. Came out of the gates really strong. pitch that one hammer but pulled foul hard hit base hit off to a good start with a lead off down couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Here's Jordan Alvarez. This guy with light tower power. Not close with that one. Ball wall. Left hand hitter waits. Swung on, belted back there. It bangs off the wall. Altuve rounds third, headed for the plate. The relay, safe. Back to back base hits. So close to blasting that one out of here the other way, but that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. Here's Kyle Tucker. And he's swinging a miss. All one's the count. Runner at second, nobody out. Got the back going too soon at strike two. And that just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Swing and a miss struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, oftentimes that's the pitch he's trying to set up, the curveball. He'll lean on it pretty heavily, so you've got to be expecting it. Look for it and sell out so you don't miss it when you get it. Here's Alex Bregman. And that one fouled off.
now That's one and one. And the righty deals. Ground ball, Olsen. Steps on Got first it. for the out. That is good. Okay, let's check out the lineup. All right, Singy, how about all the talent in this lineup? Well, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup. I think as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of this season, they could be playing October baseball. So two down now, and here is Yaner Diaz. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Oh, that's off the plate. First pitch misses. Alvarez on third with two out. Yeah. Swing and a miss. I got one ball, one strike. Gets the call. And it's one and two. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. from coming in, inning over. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back here in Houston, top of the second. Adam Duvall at the plate. Adam Duvall. And a pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Righty to the plate. That one ripped, but foul. Oh. And one and two. And another ball. And he deals. Swings and misses. And one gone. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. That's in there. That's strike one. One down, base is empty. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Everything came together for him. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Here's Orlando Arcia. That's through there for a strike. With the go-ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. One and one. Pitch out, but no action. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Run around the move. Pitch is high. Low throw, and he can't take it out. One out, and a runner at second. Runner on the go again. And fouled off. And it chases that one. That's out number two. 
He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just okay. needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Chadwick Trump digs in now. Check swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. Runner at second, two down. Bregman is under it, and that's the third out. Braves strand one, score remains tied, 1-1. Here in Houston, and now the first baseman, number 42. Number 42. The pitch. In the air to left center. Duvall sizes this one up. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Not shortstop. And stepping in is the speedy Jeremy Pena. That one finds the zone. Going one. Way inside. All tied up, bottom half of inning number two. And that drops in for a strike. Foul ball still, one and two count. Shortstop Inside takes the ball. Two. In the air, right field. And Acuna able to make the grab. Batting it. The catcher. Victor. Vic Caratini at the plate. For strike one. That's Just missed. Bounce to the right. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. That ends the inning. Astros are down quietly. Score remains deadlocked at one. And we're back. New inning getting started. Now, Ronald Acuna Jr. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. France back to work. Hits the corner. Strike one. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two down. On the ground to third. Bregman, jump throw. In the dirt, can't quite pick it, and that would have been a beautiful play. That's why you run hard 90 feet, take nothing for granted, especially when you've got great speed. I'll take the infield knock. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. A double 
And a run scored his first time up. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Right through there for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Way inside, gets out of the way. Acuna gets his lead at first, nobody out. Acuna runs. That one is absolutely belted. This one's got a chance. And it is out of here. So he just clears the wall. Third home run of the season. And they take the lead. It's 3-1. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this. If bad was very patient, and it paid off. Here's Austin Riley. And that's in there for strike one. Good eye in that spot. Other thing in this part, I mean, he could sneeze one over the left field wall into those Crawford box seats. Nobody out with a pair of runs across in the frame. We're here in the top half of inning number three. There's a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. That one missed. And a foul ball, he stays alive. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Hit in the air, right field. Tucker makes the grab, one down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. And now Matt Olson up to hit. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. And that one hammered. That ball's carrying. Going gone! He circles the bases. His fourth home run of the season. And they tack on to their lead. It's 4-1. First pitch swinging, and he got the fastball. He knew exactly what to do with it, too. Well, he almost robbed the home run right there, and I tell you what, he'd love another crack at it. During batting practice, you always like to work on that, and so close, but that one was just out of his reach. And yeah, the batter now, Marcelo Zuna. Tucker makes the catch, and yeah, there's two away. Now batting, left fielder, Adam. Now in for the Braves, Adam Duvall. He was a strikeout victim his first time. to the zone for a strike and it's 0-1. Two out spaces empty. And down on strikes. Out number three. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now 4-1. You're dialed into the show. And welcome back Lead to the ballpark. The Digging in, Mauricio the Dubon. Mauricio Dubon. Here comes a pitch. Well, after scoring hey. runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. 
kick San Diego's. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. That one misses ball, the zone. Two now one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Next offering misses. Two and two. Big stack center field. And that turns the lineup over. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Move to first. Dubon back in on a dive. Right hander kicks deals. And clips a corner. Duvall gets his lead at first with nobody out. Hit on the ground might be two. Takes it to the bag. That's one. Applies the tag and they get two. Double play. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Doubled his first time up. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base and slugging, too. A little bit high, maybe, and that's ball one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. That one catches the corner for a strike. Pitch misses, two and one. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. And the slider just misses. Kyle Tucker in the on-deck circle. Two down, nobody on. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Close pitch there, but you got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first, and then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. Tucker batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And the pitch. Aye. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. 0 oh, 2 now. Ball left outside. The Braves leading by three here in the last half of the third. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. One, two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two outs. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. Got him. And that 
that is the third out of the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Three innings complete. It's the Braves four and the Astros one. Start of the fourth, and now Michael Harris. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Oh, one's the count. Here's your one. Boog, this guy's oh. definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Just oh. missed. Two balls, one strike. Clobber to right field, way back, gone! Third home run of the season, and they add to their lead. It's 5-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. So, Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known for line drives hits one over the fence. Well, if you're a little too early, you'll get some elevation in the ball, get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run into one. Arcia in the box now. No balls and a strike. You know, these Braves showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Not only have they already put up a bunch of runs on the board, but they've also made the starter work really hard out there. Ground ball left side, and it finds its way through for a hit. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Like I said, his pitch count is high, so I got to expect they'll be turning to their bullpen sooner than they had hoped. Nobody out. Runner at first. And that one clips the corner. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. And a pitch. Fights it off, he'll see another. And the right-hander deals. One ball. Two well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact, so not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Battling here as he fouls it away. One on, nobody out, a run in, top half of inning number four. And a 1 2. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Go to second. Not in time. He's there easily. Arcia into scoring position on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Here's Acuna now. One for two. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. That just misses, and it's 1-0. Oh. Arcia, the runner at second with one away. drive and that's a base hit out of the center field the throw in 
Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. A couple of hits in a row for him here. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Man at first with one gone. Yeah, the batter down. Ozzie Albies. All one's the count. Throws over. Acuna dives back in. And here it comes. That one misses. One ball, one strike. And downstairs. Two ball, one strike. Fouls one off. Two and two. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. J.P. France departs, and this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after this. Ronel Blanco will take over here. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. First and second, one out. Now the third baseman, Austin Riley. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. That misses the zone, and it's one and one. Runners at first and second with one gone. Wouldn't chase that time. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And it's fouled away. Two on, one out. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. He goes down looking. Oh, well, really nice job of finishing the hitter off right there. Glove side command, fastball firm to the outside corner. Tell you what, very difficult to do anything with that pitch, even if you do swing. Here is Matt Olson. He's already homered in this game. And a strike. Just no. missed. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Rafael Montero appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Abreu also throwing. Two on, two outs. Right through there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. In the air, left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. So two runs in the inning on three hits, including the home run. No errors, but two are left stranded. On now to the bottom of the fourth. Braves six, and the Astros one. Back here at Minute Maid Park. And now it's Alex Bregman. The third baseman, Alex. 
Bregman. And the right hander back to work. And that one sliced foul. Deal one. They say you win. No ball, two strikes. At the belt and fires. Just oh, misses the mark outside the zone. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0 2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Next oh, offering bad. is down low. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. This one high in the air to left center. Drifts towards it. And there's one down. Up next to the Astros, the designated hitter. Yaner Diaz now at the plate. Not looking his first time up. Clips the corner. It's 0-1. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. Just outside, off the outside the edge at 1-1. One and one. Well, and another ball. ball Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Nope. Next pitch outside. off the play. Three and one now. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. A sliding stop at short. Gathers and throws, and that's a great play for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And here's the first baseman. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Two down, nobody on. That catches the zone for a strike. And the count is 0-2. Two outs. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back. Gone. His first homer of the year, and they cut into the lead. It's 6 2. The odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Now it's the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. He's 0 for 1. Ball and the one. first pitch misses for ball 1. Counts 1 and 0. Kicks and fires. Swing and a ball lifted left field. 
Duvall right there to make the grab. And that's the inning, but not before they answer back with a solo home run. Now a 6-2 ball game. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the DH, Marcel Ozuna. Marcel Ozuna. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers, that's in for a strike. You know, these Braves, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. And now the count is even. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. In the air, right side. Tucker balls it in, and there's one away. Now back, left field, Adam. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Adam Duvall. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And that one is lifted in the air. Dubon sizing this one up. He's there. He's got it. And there are two outs. Now that the center fielder, Michael. So digging in, Michael Harris. Harris. He's already homered here in this one. First Ball pitch one. doesn't find the zone. Chopped to the right side, and that chance handled. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And the Braves go down quietly. They lead it 6-2. to two. A new arm into the game, the righty, Ronaldo Lopez. This is his third time out this year. And now the switch hitting catcher, Victor Caratini. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Well, these Astros being a little too patient at the plate in this game. They found themselves behind in the count quite a bit. They're trying to be patient, but... Oh, that drilled him. And they get the out after the ricochet. And now they'll hustle now out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Here's Mauricio Dubon, and he's already singled in this game. That That's misses ball. the zone, and that is ball, ball one. one no the Braves fight. bullpen has some activity. Pierce Johnson getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Minter also getting ready. One down, base is empty. And now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. The one, two. Out towards right center field. Acuna after it. He's got it. There's two away. Now batter, the second baseman. Jose. Astros down to oh, their last Jose. out. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. 
Ball one, no strikes. Count one and oh. And a oh, good right eye down. there. That ball one three. misses, and that's ball three. You're Don Alvarez. Up next for the Astros. And a 3-0 finds his own. The Braves leading by four. Last half of inning number five. And now a full count. Wow, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. Lopez is just one strike away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Number 42 with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. And your final 6-2 to two. for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.